And I do have here their 16 inch kinky curly lace front. So this is of course 100% human hair. And of course it did not look like this when I received it. Um, I did want to take out those factory curls so I went ahead and washed it. That's the number one key when you get in a curly wig that's already made. Make sure you wash it. You will see that it looks so natural and the curl pattern changes and it looks a lot more realistic. Uh, really pretty, soft hair, didn't smell. Cute box it came in. It also came with two sets of wig caps and a set of eyelashes. Okay, so I'll post their information for you girls below. So like I said, I already went ahead and washed it today and put it on my mannequin head outside. And being that it's so hot here in Arizona, it did dry like within an hour. So there are combs in this unit right by the temples, an adjustable strap at the nape, and a comb. And you're probably going to get like four inches of parting space. I didn't put a part in it because I was requested to do a curly wig without a part. So we're going to see how that turned out today, y'all. So let's go ahead and get into this unit. is so soft very kinky texturized not too over texturized but it's just like the right texture but it's really really soft that's why I say girls when you get your wig wash them but when it's curly you get those factory type curls and they're so unattractive so I definitely wash them because once you wash them the hair looks so natural and your curls are so defined and just so like they're not like I want to say they're just, they're not all standard curls. They don't look like they're in place. They're just defined and they're just more natural looking. And this is how it came out after I washed it. So for this to be 16 inches, it's great hair. I do like kinky hair a lot now. And this is a lace front. So you can just do just about anything with this. It's really breathable during the summer heat. And as you're seeing, I didn't put a part in it. That was kind of like tricky for me because I'm so used to putting parts in my hair. But with the kinky straight, you really don't need it you just need to make sure that you place your wig behind your hairline and pull your hair out a little bit me I have to use the strand maximizer because my edges are a little thin and I want to make sure that it blends perfectly but the hair is gorgeous like really really pretty it has a nice snug fit and I just like the hair overall it does get bigger if you play with it but not too big um like overwhelming big but it's gorgeous hair like this is some really pretty hair you don't have to cut it the 16 inches I think is a really great length it's especially for those who want to wear the kinky um, kinky hair. Now, you girls know kinky hair is like the rave. It's like the end thing. I have some kinky hair that I have to make a wig out of, which is this type of hair, but 
but it's longer it's 22 inches so I've never done the 22 inches in kinky curly I have made a 16 inch wig and now I have this one so we shall see how it goes when it gets long this is the first time that I've ever done a wig for them and I really absolutely like it I'm really impressed that the hair is really soft like this and it's not all coarse and stiff it's very soft hair and what I use is the fructose um, conditioner on it and I just allowed it to air dry it took like an hour on my balcony because you girls know it is damn hot out here in Arizona but yeah it's really pretty hair I'm feeling this it gives me that natural look very afrocentric and very realistic so I will post all of their information for you girls below where you can check out their website for weaves wigs what have you extension clippings yes closures too so on that note make sure you rate comment subscribe let me know what you think of this unit and as always I'll see you girls and guys on my next video